Hi. Okay. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at this blood typing simulation to get a little bit more familiar with how blood typing and transfusions work. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a patient. Uh, we're going to start with this one. And uh, apparently all three of these patients have come into the hospital in a terrible car accident. And we're going to need to first type their blood and then uh, provide them some blood for transfusions that we can see down here. Okay, so we know people can have four blood types, A, B, AB, or O, and uh, they can also be either positive or negative for RH. So let's figure out what this lady is. So we're going to pull blood from her, and in each of these tubes, we have antibodies. So we're going to add her blood to the A, and we're going to see if it reacts. We're going to add the same blood to the B, and then also to the RH. And what we should see here is that if uh, this antibody agglutinates with the blood, we know that that antigen is present on her cells. So a simpler way of saying is she carries the A on her red blood cells. We also see that there was an agglutination reaction with B, so she also carries the B antigen on her cells. Um, but what she does not have uh, is the RH. She is negative for that. We did not see the clumping, that agglutination reaction. So another way of saying that is that her blood is AB negative. So now that we know that, um, we're going to be asked to give her several different types of blood. And so we have to consider what's called compatibility. So she is AB, and that means that she can accept blood that has either the A's, the B's, both of them AB. And remember that type O, the blood cells sort of lack anything on the surface. And that's why that blood type is considered to be the universal donor. Because the blood cells are naked, for lack of a better way of describing them, um, you can give them to anybody safely. Now, what's maybe um, very important to point out here is that this individual is also negative meaning she does not carry that RH protein. And so we cannot give her any blood that contains it. If we did, it's in essence going to create an immune reaction and it would kill her. So let's just kind of see what I'm talking about. So, okay, so let's say I accidentally give her some positive blood, some B positive. What would happen because of that positive uh, RH on that blood? Well, the antibodies in her body would detect it and they would start to stick to those uh, to that blood that had been transfused and uh, likely that would kill her. So it's very important to also make sure that we're doing compatibility when it comes to RH. Remember the rule of RH is that um, positive people, people that are RH positive can get either type of blood, positive or negative. But if an individual is negative like this person, she may only receive the negative form of the blood. All right, so what can she get? So let's start with the blood type she has, which is um, AB negative. She can certainly receive that. We also could give her, remember that O negative is what we call our universal donor. It can be given to all people, whether we know their blood type or not. So she can accept that blood type. We need to give her another one. So uh, we could either choose A negative because she carries the A and is negative, or we could choose B negative. So let's go ahead and give her the A negative. And I think we're going to be asked to give one more. Yep, one more for her. And so we would give that B negative. That would be quite a bit of blood to transfuse into one person here. So again, Remember, the takeaway is agglutination tells me what is on the surface of the person's blood cells. And remember that negative individuals may only receive negative blood, but people that are positive could receive either form. So let's take in this old guy. Let's see what he has. Let's pull some blood. All right, and as we watch, what I'd like you to go ahead and do is uh, decide what blood type you think this individual has. 
Okay, so what we saw is no agglutination in either the A or the B, which means he does not carry the A or the B on the surface of his cells, meaning he must have type O. And we see that positive reaction here in the RH, so he must be O positive. All right, so now we have to give him some blood. So I'd like you to consider down here um, what blood types would be uh, we would be able to give to this individual. The easiest place to start would always to be trans to, to transfuse what uh, he his blood type actually is, which would be O positive. But what other blood type could he receive? So I'm going to give you a second to just kind of consider that. All right, so let's give him some O positive. And of course, the only other one he would have been able to receive would be O negative. So we could have given him that as well, because remember people that are positive for RH can receive either type of blood, but people that are negative may only receive negative. All right, last one, let's take a look at this last guy. So let's go ahead and type him. So here we go. Okay, so consider uh, what those results tell you. Uh, what kind of blood type does he have? And uh, hopefully we should see there was agglutination in the A, meaning that is present on his cells. So he is type A. He is negative for B, so type A blood, and is also RH positive. So let's consider what blood types he could receive. So in this case, there are four different possibilities that this individual could receive because he is A positive. Certainly that would make the most sense down here to give him A positive, but because he is positive, he might receive the negative form as well. So he could also accept A negative. Now when, uh, remember that O is our universal donor, so it can be given to all people. Because this individual is positive, he could receive the O positive blood, or he could receive the O negative blood. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna give him some O positive here to show you that that should be something he can accept. And uh, it asks, can we give him one more bag of blood? So let's consider that again, he's positive, but he should be able to accept the negative form of that blood as well. Uh, because again, the RH, as long as he has that protein, he can accept blood that doesn't. So hooray, all of our patients have survived.